हेलो एवरी वन हियर आई एम बैक विद अ न्यू पॉइंट दैट इज नवजात शिशु पोषण हैज़ वी कंप्लीटेड द लॉन्ग एक्सटेंडेड पॉइंट दैट इज नवजात शिशु परिचर्या नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट द नवजात शिशु पोषण पोषण हियर मीन्स न्यूट्रिशन इन दिस पॉइंट वी विल सी द रिक्वायरमेंट न्यूट्रिशन ऑफ द बेबी अकॉर्डिंग टू एज दैट इज ऑल अबाउट द ब्रेस्ट मिल्क ब्रेस्ट मिल्क एक्टिविटीज दैट इज आइडियल ideal features of the breast milk and non ideal features of the breast milk that is stana stana sampat uh, stanya sampat and uh, the stanya pana vidhi stanya panam and the uh, clinical features of the breast milk according to dosha's vitiation and diseases caused due to vitiation of breast milk this all we will see in the navajata shishu पोषण बिकॉज हियर पोषण न्यूट्रिशन इज मेनली फ्रॉम दि ब्रेस्ट मिल्क फॉर दि बेबी सो दि ऐडियल फैक्टर्स एंड नॉन ऐडियल फैक्टर्स ऑफ दि ब्रेस्ट मिल्क वी विल सी डीटेल इन दिस पॉइंट दैट इज नवजात शिशु पोषण ओके नौ वॉट इज पोषण न्यूट्रिशन एंड हाउ वी विल गेट दि न्यूट्रिशन टू दि बॉडी थ्रू फुड नथिंग बट ब्रेस्ट मिल्क फॉर दि बेबी सो फुड इज दि रूट कॉज फॉर both health and disease in children uh, food mean, means nothing but stanya that is breast milk in baby and in elders food it is the root cause for health as well as disease in the body because has we if we have the uh, nutritious food or quality food we will get the good health uh, if we have the uh, unqualified that is which is unsuitable for our body uh, if we have such food we will get uh, the diseases to the body so uh, through food only we can gain the health uh, also we will we can cause the disease in our body through food if we have the food which is not suitable for our body then we will get the diseases so um, acharya kashyap described ahara has the maha besaja because though we have uh, we take the medicines for any diseases uh, for that this uh, medicine to work on our body also we need the food so here um, kashyapa says that ahara has the maha besaja because if we have the qualified or uh, which is uh, suitable for our body food will be has medicine to our body if we have the discomfort or unqualified food then we will get the diseases in humans life there is three stages of feeding that is different stages of feeding has kshirada kshira annada and annada here what is kshirada the baby which is exclusively depends on the breast milk that is till 6 months to 1 year baby is fully dependent on uh, breast milk before they were saying exclusively till 1 year they used to feed uh, breast milk only but nowadays doctors advise till 6 months exclusively breast milk later we can start the semi solids then 1 to 2 years kshira annada kshira annada means semi solids still baby can't chew hard foods so they will give the semi solids to the baby with kshira and uh, after later 2 years annada that is baby can feed anything which is hard soft everything food uh, baby can take after 2 years that is kshira da kshira da kshira annada and annada usually in kshira annada stages we will feed the baby like navanita stanyam alternatives of breast milk in its deficiency or absence in if the breast milk is uh, absent or insufficient for the baby then we will feed the alternative feedings phala prashana and anna prashana and in annada stage we will feed the baby anna prashana uh, from anna prashana foods then with stanya that is uh, till 2 years baby can be fed with breast milk we, uh, along with the food but the main thing to remember here is children should be fed whenever they feel hungry this prevents the ill health or developmental retardation which may be co- caused by adhyasana or anasana that is if the baby is fed before digestion of previous milk then there will be vitiation of doshas 
and if the baby is not fed though baby is hungry then it will cause cause for malnutrition so the baby should be fed whenever the baby is hungry or we should feed the baby on demand these are the points or the features by seeing which you can say the baby is having ideal food because uh, yeah we will feed the baby whenever it is hungry and uh, the quantity and quality should be known right because uh, if you feed the baby blindly whichever uh, you are going to feed uh, it it uh, we can't say that it is having the nutritious food or the baby is gaining nutrition by that food uh, if these qualities are present in the baby then we can say the baby is having ideal food it may be uh, according to quality or quantity what are those features uh, by see, by seeing which we can say the baby is having good ideal food are tushti pushtir druti buddhir utsaha paurusham balam sausvarya mojas tejascha jeevitam pratibha prabha it is explained in kashyapa samhita khilasthana 4th chapter 11th shloka features has tushti means happiness and buddhi that is intelligent and paurusham that is well built of the body sausvaryam that is good sound or swara and tejas prabha tejaha prabha means good looking and druti druti means will power of the baby utsaha enthusiasm in playing activities everything and pushti pushti means proper development and ojaha ojaha means energetic and balam balam means nothing but immune system or good immune power these all are the features by seeing which we can say the baby is having ideal food the, these all are the markers of nutrition the if these uh, all qualities are present in baby then we can say the baby is having good nutrition in good nutrition and baby is having the good ideal food in routine basis so we should not blindly feed the baby whichever we want we should see the ideal features of the baby and ideal quality and quantity of the food which we are feeding so in last slide we saw what all the qualities for ideal food that is if we uh, we are giving the baby ideal food or uh, we are having the ideal food and uh, we are giving the um, ideal breast milk for the baby then features will be present what all Mm, we saw in the last slide in this slide we will see the features for insufficient nutrition if the baby is having insufficient nutrition then what all features will be present in the baby that is emaciation nothing but thin of the uh, thin body built uh, fatigue fatigue means weakness always the baby will be having weakness and abnormalities in voice the voice will not be clear and loud pain in cardiac region uh, always the baby will complain he is having some pricking sensation pain in the cardiac region unpleasant face feces maybe the uh, urine and uh, feces all will be in uh, insufficient or unpleasant and uh, always the may, um, baby makes the faces la- like um, we can say there will be not charm in the face of the baby always the baby will be having dull face uh, present in in the activities and enthusiasm complexion voice and vision are reduced these all enthusiasm complexion voice and vision will be reduced in the baby overall we can say the baby will be dull in activities he will not be active and there will not be enthusiasm in the face of the baby uh, these all are the features uh, by which we can see the baby is getting insufficient nutrition by food so now we saw what are the qualities of good nutrition and what are the qualities or features of insufficient nutrition now we should uh, for this identifying these features first of all we should feed the baby in correct quantity right to give the uh, correct nutrition for the body we need to uh, give the supplements on correct nutritious basis 
so here uh, i collected some uh, attempt i made some attempt to collect the uh, table or chart on which the calories are or energy <coughs> requirements for infants according to their age so the energy requirements of infants are according to age up to 3 months 120 kilo calories per kg 3 to 5 months 115 kilo calorie per kg 6 to 9 months 110 kilo calorie per kg and 9 to 11 months 105 kilo calories per kg here uh, one thing i want to say you all uh, why the kilo calories are decreasing uh, when the baby age is increasing can anyone guess it is because here you see the energy requirements of infants infants means the baby from birth till one year it is known as infant and usually the babies will be dependent on exclusively breast milk uh, till 6 months later we will start the uh, weaning that is upper food so this is only about the breast milk uh, breast milk or formula milk which we are giving for the baby it depends and later after 6 months as usual we will start the upper food uh, overall it will be increasing uh, kilo calories per kg but only of breast milk it will be on these spaces has chart given now we'll see the protein required uh, for the baby according to age that is the in 3 months 2.4 grams per kg per day 3 to 6 months 1.85 grams per kg per day 6 to 9 months 1.62 grams per kg per day and 9 to 11 months 1.44 kg grams per kg per day these all are the protein requirements of the baby here these all are the essential elements of standard diet uh, means if these all are present in this uh, routine diet then usually the baby will get the nutritious diet and baby will gain the weight and ideal features of the nutrition that are carbohydrates fats proteins minerals that is calcium trace elements that are iodine fluorine zinc magnesium and copper and uh, mainly last one is water these all are the elements by which uh, we can give the baby uh, on routine basis to gain the nutritious diet and nutritious ideal features these all elements should be present on routine ba- basis in the baby's food or elders food this was just the basic uh, knowledge of uh, portion that is nutrition of the baby next next la- videos we will see what all the qualities of uh, uh, breast milk what is the uh, a technique of the breast milk everything we will see in detail in next videos this was the basic topic of navajata shishu portion that is starting point of the uh, navajata shishu portion attempt for the basic knowledge of nutrition and uh, mainly the baby gains nutrition through breast milk so in next videos we will see what is the breast milk its ideal time to feed duration to feed and uh, the uh, features of breast milk and uh, test uh, that is clinical features of breast milk for ideal feed nutrition everything we will see detail in next videos thank you